Jared Weiss, CLNS Radio. Isaiah, is this the toughest loss you've had to endure so far? Um, yes. Uh, it was very emotional for me. Just because we gave it our all. I mean, we never put our head down. And like I said, this group of guys is, is something special. And, and I, I played, I mean, I gave it my all, so that's why it hurts that much more. Uh, I wish I could have done more. This should hurt everybody, and then we come back next year even stronger. Hopped in here over Al Horford mm, on this. I snuck button. in. I snuck <laughs> in. I snuck in. I, I, how has the off season been going for you? I know you, you recently got married. Oh, Congrats man. on that. Thank you. Thank you. It's been it's been a, a great off season for me. It went by pretty fast because I was very busy, but for the most part, I enjoyed it. I'm ready to get back and, and get the season started. Court three is like 40 minutes behind. Oh, really? And then this court's about to be because I did. He just parked, actually, he said, but I just hope they can start. These are your, this is Team Z. I mean, Team IT. Team Z. Who plays first? Team IT. Third annual, baby. Third time. It's going to be a success. We got to win the ship this one. Mm. Jermaine. Zeke's town. <laughs> chili. Cold chili. You know, Northwest. Doing it big. Y'all played already? No, we play right now.
<laughs> How was it, Zeke? Wrap it up. You know, did what we had to do. First championship as a coach. We've been to the finals two out of three years. <laughs> we definitely have. <laughs> you know, that's all I can say. We did third every annual, town, baby. Third annual Zekins. Third annual Zekins is a wrap. Lost my voice. We're not done even. We're bringing it back next year. We out here. Pop. Number one. Tacoma. Look, she just even over there. there. Um, I'm the greatest player, and I yeah. saw a bunny over there, and it was so cool, and I saw it right over there. Jaden, let's catch it. Yeah. Yeah! Come on, boy, lock in. Uh, two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Good job. Good job. You're gonna be in the building. I'm a young getting it. It's Cleveland to Seattle to this man. Yeah. This is how I'm in the weekend off right here. You know what I'm saying? You need to Let's go home. I gotta throw this out there. You just tweeted this the other day. I'm gonna read it word for word. Uh, in order for me to grow, I had to let go of some old habits. What were some of those habits, if you're willing to share, and then how have they allowed you to grow? Eating right, getting a, getting a new diet and a healthy diet for myself, because like I t said before, I want to play till I'm 40. I want to I wanna try to play as long as I can. And also, I, I, I met with a sleep doctor over the last few weeks, and, and just trying to change old habits that, that are going to only help me be a better basketball player on the court. So those are the two main things that I try to do this summer is Eat healthy, eat healthier, and and sleep more because I don't I don't sleep that much. Why don't we just do this? I have the grill going and everything. Cause what am I gonna eat? The corn? The corn? Look, this this chicken kebabs right here. This, okay, then why? That's what I asked. I said, what is that? And you looked at it and then no, left. I'm saying I thought you knew what it was. It says right on it. It says look. I didn't. So you're gonna eat this and this. And you, why, you don't like these? Put some oil on the shit, some salt and pepper, it tastes <laughs> amazing. Okay, I don't think I like it. All right, at least give it a shot. Um, I'm, in, I'm in shape, I'm in some great shape. Um, I think that has a lot to do with Tim and a lot to do with my work ethic and a lot to do with changing my diet. So a little of everything has got me in the best shape of my life and, and I'm gonna have the best season of my of my career. How's it going today? Good, man. It's an awesome day. It's going to be about 85 degrees today. He's probably going to hit this sled probably about uh, 15 times. And uh, the first one's not going to be that bad. Uh, but when he gets down to the last five, he's going to start feeling it. He's got to find a way to, 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 you know, to continue to be explosive, even if he doesn't have anything in the tank. It's the only, th only way we get better is through adversity. So I can't have you coming here comfortable. You know? Yeah. You know, we gotta, we gotta push it above, we gotta push the envelope a little bit and, and, and then just back off. When you get out of here, just eat right, sleep right, hydrate. You know, take, read it, pick up a book and read it. Spend time with your family, you know, work on your skills. And let the body adapt to what you, what you gave it. Let it adapt. So what we all do find out is that nothing means anything as an individual unless it's done with other folks. We're social creatures. Nothing important is accomplishing life without each other. None of us has done anything by ourselves. Even if you walk around saying that we did, you do it by yourself. This sucker's nice, man. If you do it right, because you can't, you can't add too much weight. You have just enough weight so it doesn't distort your, your technique. Hardcore defense. Get low. Stop your butt. That's it. Good. Yep. Like that. Good. Push. I mean, that guy's blind. He's getting in. There's no excuse. No excuse. Good. Good. By any means. Step right here like this, Zay. Just 
take off. Here. So it's gonna, every, every single one we do is going to drain us. So we get to the last part of it. You got about 15 of these different modalities. You get down to the last five. You got young fumes. You know, basketball is a sport where uh, you have to have power endurance. You have to be explosive in a state of fatigue. When you have nothing left in the tank, you always have those reserves to be explosive. Say you're in the fifth quarter and you, you played the whole game and your legs are feeling like lead. When the time comes, we have to just take off and go. You can just take off and go. Every, every one we do is gonna, is gonna count. After we get this next one, we're gonna go defensive shuffle right, defensive shuffle left, and then we're gonna be done. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm too tired. Nobody else is doing this though, you know? Somebody's at the end of that, and you got you can't even lift a leg. And one of your family members or your child's at the end of that hundred meters that need your help. You will sprint your butt over there like you was never tired at all. You guys hear me? That's when you give 100 percent Right now we're giving about 70-80%. So you got more, so knock this out. Ain't nobody dying here. I got one more. So knock this one out, man. Come on, let's go. I got one more in me. We can be done. I got one more. That's perfect, guys. One, two, three, cheese. We're done. I'm excited to get things going with the new additions to our team, and hopefully, we can gel sooner rather than later. And everybody's hungry, and everybody's hungry to get better. Everybody's been working very hard this summer, and, and we're excited. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to be the first to welcome you to Las Vegas Terminator for our flight. Approximate local time here in Las Vegas is 210. Well, Las Vegas to just support my team, and show those guys uh, they got my support, and also to work out with my coaches and get back into the thick of things. All right, I'm here to go work out for me.
Man, when you saw this money going out yesterday, you said they're going to have to bring the Brinks truck around when it's time for you to talk contracts. You weren't joking around, were you? No, that's, that's real talk right there. Uh, it's, it's, it's a blessing to see everybody else get paid, but I know my time will come, and I'm just going to continue to work hard and leave it in God's hands. And I know if I do that, then um, it puts me in a good position. Hey, Thomas, once again, showing why you're my favorite guy to talk to in the league. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, sir. Because, look, this is what happened. New okay, Pete Carroll called me on my honeymoon. I, I didn't even have his number, so number kept calling. And then I called back, and he's like, IT is Pete with the Seahawks. And then he asked me, and he said they have a, a shooting contest before every meeting, every practice. David, yeah, this is the coach. <laughs> <laughs> And the championship week is Cam Chancellor and Tyler Lockett. So the players didn't know I was going to be there. They, they played a highlight video of me and everything. And then I show up and I'm there. Yes. To relax, chill with my family, with my, my two kids, and um, just be a family man for the most part and, and work on my game, work on my craft, and become an even better basketball player than I was the previous season. So that's all that I do. I, I play basketball, spend time with my family, and enjoy life. We got to no, we're gonna go to Daddy's college. And then we got like the little games mommy will take you to and I I'll be playing. We got that later today. My name is Will Conroy, assistant coach here at University of Washington. Today we had our first open practice. Uh, we invited some of our alumni and some of our pros to come back and help us before we take off to Australia. It's, it's a big competition. Uh, a lot of those guys are the reasons why we have some of the players that we have today in the first place. And uh, one day envisioned themselves as being those guys. So big time intensity. Go go.
Jackson. Now on to the next one. Oh, yeah, I'm getting. Ooh, let me tweet. Six love. But I believe. Look, the same thing as yours. But it's not the same color. It's not the same. I'm getting those cars and those wheels, but white. Mine is gonna be blue, love. You like blue? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite color? Blue. Okay, Daddy got my blue car for you when we get older. What's your favorite color? Okay. Give me a Lamborghini blue. You want a Lamborghini? Yeah. I um, think I think you will go too fast though. Because the charger is slow than a Lamborghini. Yeah. The charger's still fast. Oh. Daddy used to have a charger. Oh. When I was in college. Oh, when I was three in James was no, four? No, when you were zero, you wasn't born yet. James was one. So you, were, you weren't you were even born. You weren't even in mommy's tummy. Oh, is that the hospital? Um, no. You just wasn't, you wasn't ready yet to get, to be born. You see that I'm big boy? Chilling, watching IT, hit it up, and do our thing. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> Something like that. Man, y'all play, play the game already today? That's it, put it in this morning. Oh, okay. You know, it's a good look, boy. Keep it real. How much y'all today? Like 45 or something. Did you check the official? I took so many plays off. Yeah, yeah, you did. I can feel it. I'm on a different level. Yeah, yeah. I just got the stamp from the GOAT. Track Masters. Yo, check them out. It's the new A5s. You gotta rock them. They even put a zone in the league to try to stop them. He's the answer and the problem. You don't want it with the way that boy go to the hole and take punishment. The young boss of the cross for four quarters. And from three-point land, he's all water. Matter of fact, call him the king. The way he breaks down the defense. It's like he got the ball on the string. And he will blow by you fast. Penetrate and dish it off or let it go high off the glass. Uh, all you need is a pair of these. Nothing else. Your hesitation to stop and pop will be something else. Track masters and J to the bar. I keep an extra pair in my car. In case y'all want to take it to the park. High percentage. I'm going to make it from the arc. Take it from the heart. <laughs> this is Kiss talking to you. The A5 limited edition. Reebok bought them to you. Uh, even on the court, we stay fly. Jada and AI. Make sure you go get the A5s. Even on the court, we stay fly. Jada and AI. Make sure you go get the A5s. Uh -huh. Meeting Allen Iverson was the, the greatest moment of my life. That's somebody I looked up to since I was a little boy, and he just told me.
Like, I don't ever ask you for autographs, so I'm thinking like, I, I, I'm not saying I'm not gonna say yes, but it's just weird because that's why I don't do that. I just feel weird like, like damn, you too. But he's not gonna say that, but that's just how I feel, you feel me? I got a couple of good cash on a couple of days. Hell yeah. Are you serious? The thing is, this to you, right? make me so happy about me being me because little killers like that grow up to be like the real killers you know what I mean this is it right here man this the future baby this the future straight like this this is the best thing you've ever got oh my god now I can tell like now you can finally show people what he's saying like yeah. he says it to me and I tell people it's like okay they're probably like, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. To a real killer. Damn. I gotta be on an average. You know his career average is he averaged 28 points a game for his whole career. 28 points? That's not even for real. I know I can. I gotta do I gotta get better. <laughs> I gotta get better. It's not cool. I gotta get better. <laughs> I gotta get better. <laughs> uh, I averaged 22 and 7. And that's not, uh, 22 and 6, that's not a good year. And people don't go 25. People really don't think you're gonna do it again. Yeah, people, that's the crazy thing. They people. really don't. Like, they don't. Like, they, 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 like. They're yeah. back, it's back to, uh, they, it's back to when they're in the draft. They really think that them up He's for good, all 82 got. games got lucky. Who a real killer? I don't know who the. But I'm the real. Ooh. 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 Uh, hey yo, part two, AI and J Kiss presenting the A6 from the wrist could tell us a straight switch. Now nah, I'm the problem, and he's the answer. Soon as you try to guard up, you ain't got a chance to stop it. Any given time, he could pop it. The Reebok A6 is hot, go cop it. But 2K3, I rock the A6 with my new kicks. Take a few hits, it ain't nothing, I'm used to it. Trying to build a team, I'm the player you need. Hard like Willis Reed, top thief and score in the league. There's no way to disguise your dream. Besides family, the only thing on his mind now is a ring. He got love for the game, his start was huge And you've seen him play hurt cause his heart is huge Six feet, 165, call ISO Anytime he wanna split your five Play to win, he'll play for stats Brought the hood to the game and they love him for the braids and tats Yeah, track masters, AI and J Kiss Make sure you go out and get a pair of the A6 Part 2, AI and J Kiss presenting the A6 It's all fundamental and basics Part 2, AI and J Kiss presenting the A6 It's all fundamental and basics are you right there at the corner? Oh, okay, like the tree, like the tree okay. in the hat. How are you doing, guys? Everything good? Good, how are you? Good, good, thank you. Right, we go? What's the bus called in the Sentley? Hey, where? It's Lawson. Yeah. I've always been bound mad. As soon as you doubt me, I'll show you how hard I grind. Yeah, I hear a maiden. See what I think about me. I've always been bound mad. As soon as you doubt me, I'll show you how hard I grind. Yeah, I hear a maiden. But they do that all the time. There's no you without me. I know this on my plan. 700 feet. Turn left on the south of Rowan Street. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're trying to keep it. Alright, yeah. It's 11 and a half, but if you want to try it, do something later. Oh, yeah, I am too. Yeah, I'm saying. Just hit me when you're done.
Uh, take exit 24A for 101 South. We're two miles away. You know, uh, Isaiah Thomas made history, and it's crazy because he was the last pick in the draft. And you know how we are. We believe in, we believe in you from the beginning to the end, whether you do good, whether you do bad. TMT gonna support you, and you know, the money team. So today we D.I.E. That's no L.I.E. I got, I got to do it. Shit, if you won't do it, who will? <laughs> I appreciate you, man. My team. Represent. I'm going to see you later. I'm so proud of you. Oh, oh, what do you think, baby? Hey, hey, uh, uh, I'm pulling. I wanted to bring back that reality. But nobody can ever be confused and think I'm fucking Mike Tyson. And I'm a heavyweight champion. I'm a little That's why it's so raw to watch me just battle lions. Because I'm a little skinny nigga battling it's three times my side. It's the same routine. I, I know how to work. I work like a pro. I, no matter what the circumstances is, is, is getting the gym and get better. I try not to work out with anybody because I always think, what, what will Kobe do? Kobe's not giving anybody else his, his, his secrets and, and his workouts for them to get better. So I, I, get, I, get, it, I get it on my own. I'm at my college, I just got done working out. What? Shooting. Huh? Shooting. How many shots? 500 makes. Hey, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm playing. You see my second down there playing, I'm playing, I'm starting to play good. Hey, you gotta start getting back to it. I'm thinking about going to that thing daily. <laughs> Shut up. I am. No, you're not. Hey, boy, boy, it was boring? It was boring, it, it was, it was cool, but it was like there wasn't shit to do. She liked it. Oh, she loved it. I may come see more games this year. Yeah, I need you out there. There's, there's a lot of buzz out there. When, when you go to um next week. Training camp? No, we start September 25th, but I go out, I I move out to Boston next week. Yeah, why? My son starts school on the eighth. You still got your same place out there? Yeah, a little apartment. I love talking. When you talking That's like that? Shit. That's funny. That is real though. I'm about to leave the gym, champ. I'm gonna call you back. Okay, champ.
Didn't he go to bed? No, he got about another hour and a half. That's wrong time. Yeah, it's dark here though. It's nighttime here. La 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 la. All right, big boy. I just wanted to. We wanted to call you because we miss you a lot. We, we love you. We love you so much. I'm on my night job, y'all job, and I'm back up in position. What's up, Robbie? This is Isaiah Thomas. All right. What's up, Robbie? This is Isaiah Thomas. Thanks for letting me shoot hoops with you the other day. I know you need to. <laughs> What's up, Robbie? It's Isaiah Thomas. Thanks for letting me shoot hoops with you the other day. Keep working on that jumper. I know we talked about this upcoming season, and I'd like to invite you to one of our games as my guest. Hopefully I get to see you the damn. damn I want you guys to imagine if you were a little bit younger and you were at the park or at one of those sports venues just practicing and all of a sudden that favorite oh. player of yours <laughs> showed up to get a practice session. That's exactly what happened to 14-year-old uh, Rob McNulty. So, and we've actually got Robbie joining us right now <laughs> to talk about what went down. And Robbie, so great to see you, man. And I gotta ask you, buddy, Robbie, what was going on in your head when you saw Isaiah Thomas approaching you on the basketball court? Well, that, it was really just insane because, so when I was playing basketball before he came, I, I was kind of like, I saw somebody walking towards me, but you know, he wasn't that tall, so I didn't expect anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would have been like, oh, that, I would have took another look and been like, oh, I know that guy. Yeah. But um, he asked me, he asked me if I can, if he can play with me. Wow. You know? wow. What a good guy. Yeah, you know? All right, well, listen, buddy, we've got a really cool you know, message for you from someone very, like, very special. I want you to take a listen to this, okay? Check this out. All right, yeah. What's up, Robbie? It's Isaiah Thomas. Thanks for letting me shoot hoops with you the other day. Keep working on that jumper. I know we talked about this upcoming season, and I'd like to invite you to one of my games as my guest. See you at the Garden. Celtics basketball game. I want to say congratulations. I know you just started high school, so good luck with that and enjoy the game at the Celtics oh as God. Isaiah Thomas's <laughs> guest. Congratulations, man. <laughs> What are some of the biggest roadblocks or obstacles you faced when you were coming up, when you were growing up, and then even today, as you've already reached all-star status, people uh, look at you as a, as a superstar in our league, in our community. Maybe those three different points in time, what's been the biggest roadblock? Me trying to reach my goal of getting to the NBA, and people saying I was just too small. No matter what I was doing or how good I was playing, they always just said, you're just too small. Like That was always the knock on me. So. I just kept proving people, whether it be school, whether it be on the court, I kept going, I kept going. I didn't care what anybody said. I was going to make it to the NBA no matter what. Like, that's, that was the plan, and that was the only plan. You guys can do anything you put your mind to. Because no matter how hard it is or how hard you think it is, first off, somebody's going through way worse than you are. And second off, it, 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 it's never over. Like, every day that I wake up, I'm living a dream. That I, that I dreamed about since I was a little boy, watching 
NBA on NBC on Sunday watching Michael Jordan. Like I wanted to play on that. And Be whatever you want to be in life you can be if you put your mind to it you have faith in yourself and you just you live a positive life and be around people that really genuinely care about you everybody always say they're self-made and they can do it on their own like nobody does it on their own it's all about how you how you treat others and, and respect others and i'm still learning that i'm still i'm i don't know everything i'm still learning each and every day on how to be a better basketball player a better person a better father I try to get as many mentors and people I can, man. I'm a, I'm a student of the game. If you guys ever need me, I'm, I'm around the way. I love doing stuff like this and, and interacting with kids just because. The neighborhood I grew up in, we didn't have no professional athlete to come back and talk to them. So when I made it, this is the type of things I, I wanted to do. This is the stuff that's fun, fun for me, other than just, you know, school. <laughs> Guys, I mean, this, is, this is dope, man. So I appreciate you guys having me, and thank, thank you guys again. What you guys did today, that you guys only understand how, how important that is. A historic franchise like the Boston Celtics. It's everything you dreamed of. You want to be the Tom Brady's. You want to be the the David Ortiz's. Of, you want to be what Larry Bird was and all the other Hall of Fame names that, that came through and wore the white and green. So I'm going to just build on what I did last year, continue to try to win and show the world why I'm one of the best guards in the world. Last season hurt. I mean, it hurt me especially because that was the first time I can say in my life I gave it everything that I had. Like, I had no more left in me. We know we can compete with anybody in this league, whether it be Cleveland, Golden State. But we, we know we're right there, and we just got to put it all together. And my next step as a, as a, as a, as a basketball player is just to win. I, I, I want to win more. I want to see what the second round is like. The, Eastern Conference Finals and, and one day the NBA Finals. And, and I know getting, just getting to the playoffs in Boston isn't good enough. And I know we need to take that next step. I know I need to take that next step as an individual. And, and we're ready. Once you put on that Celtics jersey, you, you're going you're gonna to understand. Like, nothing, these people aren't satisfied with. 48 wins and losing in six games in the first round. Like, they've seen greatness. They've seen they got 17 championships for a reason. So 
once you come on this practice court and go play in the garden, you, you realize it or you probably won't be here for that long. So as long as you give it your all and, 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 and play every game like it's your last, these people, the people in the community, the, the city is going to fall in love with you.